Hey there everybody, Graham here with Northwood Legacy. Uh, this is the third place winner from the Sunscape Game Jam. Uh, I believe this one is actually coming out on Steam uh, at some point in the future. I believe the developer is working on a full version of the game. But I figured I'd check out the entry for the Game Jam. And I already see right here that it is telling me that I should be taking notes on pen and paper while I am playing this game. So... If that's true, this is the second game in a row I will have played where I'm going to have to take notes on the side. So, let's get started. Now, hey, it's the quote from the Game Jam. Northwood. What? 87? When he died? To the grandchild of Wilfred Northwood. Dear sir or madam, it is with deep sorrow that we inform you that Wilfred Northwood has died. As his sole heir, the responsibility of his estate falls upon you. Please make arrangements to return to England and take care of this matter. P.S. If you can find some of Mr. Northwood's government documents, please send photocopies to us as the information we have is outdated and incomplete. Alright, so it looks like we're going to be... exploring an old family home. Alright. So we can zoom in and out with the mouse wheel. And you can press the button to reset that. That's good to know. Alright, so we... That door is locked. Okay, so we have the number for the doctor and the number for Lucius. I'm just going to write these down real quick. Actually, I noticed we have uh, Gavin's number as well. Uh, I don't know who any of these people are yet, but these numbers are also not the same number of digits. Unless I type something in wrong. Alright. Seems to be an old music box. The thing must be at least 50 years old. A photo of Sweetie. Sweetie is a cat that belonged to someone in America. They are very cute. <laughs> and this photo of butterflies. Grandma loved butterflies. Okay. Oh, what are you doing here? One of Granddad's VHS tapes? Long after VHS became a dead format, Granddad still collected these. I wonder how many times he watched this one. Red Dwarf, <laughs> Season 7, Episodes 4 through 6. I love it. A bust of Great... Great Granddad? Potentially, maybe not. And an old bust of a woman. Looks like... Uh... I don't remember... the goddess's name. Kind of embarrassing. I can see Grand Granddad was a big fan of Red Dwarf. Never actually seen the show myself, but it's always one people seem to mention fondly. Alright, we have a sticky note of a cat and something that takes a four-number code. We can turn a light on. Doesn't look like that's changed anything, so we'll just go ahead and flip that back off. Toy Story 2, Ghostbusters 2, and RoboCop. Alright, alright, I like it. Got some good movies here. Interesting Romances Magazine. Oh boy. And they just left the alcohol out. Ah, yes. Good old chess pieces. Please don't ask me to play chess game. I am really bad at chess. Is that anything? Nope, that just looks like a cobweb. 
broke one of these once. Uh, we, who knows? We may need to do it again. I really like that you can look or like view things. Uh, though, based on the interior geometry, I would guess this had handles once. Yep, yeah, just another vase. And for complete, oh, for completeness' sake, just check and make sure there's nothing in that it doesn't look like there is. All right, let's take a look at this piece of paper. Notice to Wilfred Northwood. As per our agreement, you'll be working late for the next three weeks. Ashley has already filed the paperwork, so don't worry about payment. There's a nice 100-pound note with your name on it. Your boss, Grant Tatton. Okay, so Granddad had a job. Uh, I wonder doing what? Two sugar for Granddad and one four for Grandma. Oh, that is some sweet tea. Okay. You know, it just occurred to me. I think I have seen this house before. Uh, in an actual haunted house game. At least the floor plan seems very similar. But, I mean, I'm not really ever opposed to using, like, store-bought assets or anything like that. As long as you're doing something, doing something with them. Heck, one of my favorite horror games of all time uses HQ Residential House, so obviously I do not have a problem with this. Okay, that's locked. You're locked. You're open. What do you have? Thank you for choosing Lathe Stone Key Cutting Service, and we hope you enjoy your newly cut keys. So we have a small silver office key and two large gold keys. Honestly, really good prices, I think. Uh, don't lose these ones and don't hide them under the kitchen shelf. They keep dropping and disappearing. So I'm going to guess we can expect there to be keys in the under the kitchen shelf. Oh, this door is open. Okay. Excellent. Always important to have a rubber duck. Okay, 25th August, 1982. I love my son, but I cannot stand for what he has done. For years I forbid him from seeing that girl, and yet the two have just decided on a whim now is the time to marry. They are far too young for it. It will never last. It will leave them both broken. Mark my words. Oh, what a... Mm, what a pleasant note to just leave out where anybody can see it. Including the person you're writing it about. A plus choice. Okay, you're locked. The kitchen. Nope, this isn't a kitchen. No, this just has a vacuum in it. Here's the kitchen. Okay. How many of these items... <laughs> I do like that I can interact with all of those. Okay, so... Oh, found a note. 19th June, 1975. Grant threatened to come to my house to take a crowbar that apparently my son stole. I told him Greg would not steal a crowbar and that one of the other guys probably stole it. Grant barged right into my house and started looking for the crowbar. I threatened to call the police, but he called my bluff. But still, after looking all over the house in my son's room, he could not find this crowbar. I am just glad my family were not home to see this. How I hate that man. Ooh, that's not good. Okay. 
I don't care if you come to the uh, if you come to the wedding at this point, but you can't force Mum not to go just because you don't like the fact that me and Lindsay have found true love. We will get married, and we will have a good life together. If you want to be a part of that life, then stop arguing and come to the wedding, Greg. Yeah, not a happy family. Oh, mm, coffee grinder. Very old-fashioned coffee grinder. I believe I have seen this... <laughs> I'm pretty sure I've seen this fridge before. And you still can't interact with it, and that is still a shame. <laughs> if you missed my playthrough of If... Uh, <laughs> that's quite an interesting game. Definitely recommend checking that one out, too. Still full of matches, I can tell by the weight. Alright, well, if we find we need matches, we know where to find them. Let's see if I can find any of those keys that were talked about. Let's see, we found some orange soda. Interesting places to keep everything. <laughs> yes, coffee is bitter. You don't know what tea tastes like. I honestly don't know what to say about that. Okay, so we've got some, some more shelves in the kitchen. And some peeling linoleum tile, it looks like. <laughs> yes, very aggressive chocolate and bar form. Just take a quick look to see if there's anything I can see at this angle. I couldn't see at the other. Like a key. All right. Could be anywhere other than here. I mean, I still haven't figured out if this has some supernatural elements or if this is just going to be a kind of a puzzle game. So who knows? Maybe this will be fine. Uh, 10th August 1958. Today I met the most beautiful woman I have ever seen. She has bright blue eyes and a voice that could shatter glass. Is that a compliment? I mean, the eyes, I guess, but the voice that could shatter glass, is that a compliment, honestly? I can see that nothing else will make my life here happy other than her. I must find a way to show her my worth. Worth. My efforts have failed me. She laughs at my jokes. And she has become more friendly to me, but it is not enough. If I am to have her, I must do more. Reese suggests I get her flowers and profess my love, but this will not do. Today I am the happiest man in all of England. Eleanor has agreed to go to dinner with me. Honestly, not honestly, guy. You got her laughing. That's... Everybody loves good jokes. Most people even love bad jokes, even though they won't admit it. A gem. <laughs> Fake gems. Uh, gonna guess we're gonna need these for a puzzle later. Yes, thank you. I, I did figure out it was C to Crouch. You're invited to the wedding of Greg Northwood and Lindsay Millward at the True Heart Church on Tuesday, 22nd March at 2.30 p.m. It is a very cute looking cat, and I'm pretty sure I say that every time that I see this. Also, there's the code we're looking for for that box upstairs. 8095, let me... yeah, here it is. 8095. Great. Okay, Jaina has died. Key for the music box. And a blood-covered gun. Ne never, ever look down the barrel of a real gun. Just, just don't do that. Alright, have to unlock it. Who is... Jana, Jana, not sure how to pronounce that name. Okay. So we have an electrical inspection. 
House has been inspected by Owen Hart. Two killed in road traffic collision. On Tuesday, 8th of June, 20, 2010, Greg Northwood and his wife, Lindsay Millward, were struck and killed by another car at 7.31 p.m. The witnesses report the person driving the car that struck the two was drunk and attempted to flee the scene. Members of the public were able to apprehend the man and hold him until police arrived. Reports from the local police confirmed that the man was heavily intoxicated. At the time of the crash, a couple leave behind one child age 20, so we're actually playing Greg's kid. Notice to Wilfred Northwood. We got some new guys coming in from Mexico or some backwards place like that. They barely speak English, but they know how to build. You keep an eye on them and tell them to get stuff done. Okay, so construction? Uh, contract work? Probably. Okay, Gold Parks High School. It'll be, what, June 6th, 1974? <laughs> hey, I recognize that. Uh, okay, there are not actually... Not actually notes. There isn't actually a note on the back of that. Okay. Any other unpleasant memories we can uncover? Open. Oh, stay. Oh, stay. Thank you. Grandchild's birth. <laughs> oh no! I'm just gonna put that back. Yeah, I can understand why the drawer just did not want to open. Five killed in explosion. Venezuela. I'm not gonna trip butcher that. Would that be Guanare? Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> on Friday, 20th September, 1985, an explosion in the city of Gonar, Venezuela. An explosion believed to have been caused by a faulty gas pipe killed five people nearby and injured 13 others. Local police are looking into the matter, but state that most likely no charges will be filed against anyone. And... Jana was one of them. Did Grandad kill Greg because of the gas explosion? Is that where this is going? And we need to find the office. You are locked. So you are not the office. Uh, you are the office. Anything behind the door? Nothing behind the door. Nothing down there. Okay. It doesn't look like I can interact with the record player. Okay, so it looks like Grant was paying, and Granddad was paying out something to GP. Don't know if that's a person or a company. Need another four-digit code. Uh, one of them is missing. Okay, so the ones are both there. The fives are both there. So the code should be 0451. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, so with this one, you know, there are six possible combinations with these numbers in this order. And I noticed that the second one with the four as the first, like as the second number, was missing, so. Oh, oh dear. All right, what do we got? Okay, we have Greg's date of birth. Just going to write that down just in case. 15th July, 1999. It has been exactly two years since I last saw my family. I hope one day my son can forgive me. I hope one day I can forgive myself. I know one day I will see them again. I just have to sit here and wait for them. I miss my grandchild dearly. And then three days later, I still think of that day. If Greg did not help me, I don't know what I would have done. It pains me still. Still. But how I am glad that Eleanor had already passed before I did what I did. 
Yeah, Granddad. Granddad killed somebody. Dear Wilfred, Grant is not my problem. Just do what he says and keep your mouth shut. Guillermo. Uh, Guillermo. Last name starts with P, perhaps? Can't do anything with that. Can't do anything with the hat. And I missed a key right at the start. Oh, I see, because they stopped keeping... They stopped keeping the key right next, or inside the, uh... No, no, open back up. Okay, I do actually have a question. Uh, this fire... Like... There's no way the granddad just died, so why is this fire burning? <laughs> Wonder if you could use those to unlock a secret door. I will laugh so hard if there is a secret door that needs these. Oh, I see. I can open the file cabinets. Notice to Wilfred Northwood. Your request for a pay raise has been denied. Just be glad you still have a job at all. Wow, Grant is just kind of terrible. Fantastical matchbox with hidden pocket. Oh, looks like I took a look at that matchbox too soon. Dear Wilfred, I noticed you did not make a payment this month. You better have this fixed soon or else, Guillermo. Oh boy. All right, well, let's go check out that matchbox. Ah, uh, I got the guest bedroom key. I do like that this game really doesn't hold your hand too much. Like, obviously, that was a pretty clear clue to go check out the box of matches, but if you don't check out the... Uh, If you don't check out the file cabinet, which it doesn't tell you to do, then, you know, you don't know to go do that. It must have been like 11 when I accidentally kicked this thing and it shot out. I was so scared, but Granddad just laughed when we saw it. Guess he never did get around to fixing it. Seventeenth January, nineteen ninety-six. Today should have been a good day. Today I should have been free, but instead I learned that the possibility of freedom was always held just beyond my reach. I have lost so much, but I still have my family. I cannot put them at risk. The threats cannot continue. I will solve the problem one way or another. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, so... Dear Wilfred, Eleanor has told me about these issues you two are having with money. She tells me you make multiple large payments to people, but to people she does not know. If you need help with your finances, I can put you in contact with an accountant acquaintance of mine. They will be a big help in controlling your money and getting these seemingly unnecessary payments under control. Kind regards, Elliot Jackson. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out where Grandpa was sending that money. Obviously nowhere good. Yes, this is a frog. Very good. Took my grandparents years to convince Granddad he needed a new phone. I used to enjoy playing with this and pretending to make calls. Uh, you know, I did that too. My grandparents had... At least I remember having, like, a decommissioned phone like this that I used to play with. 27th, May, 1976. Dad got me this cool lockbox in for, inst or for impor storing important stuff in. He said I needed to make the code something important, but not also just write it down. It took me a good while to think of one, but I decided since it's a six-number code, I will use the day I won the big game. Uh, I think I remember that. 
since that was such a great and memorable day for me. That one was 11.06.74. Yep. Dear, dear Santa, for Christmas this year, I want Pogo Stick. <laughs> With an exclamation point. Toy cars, a cup and ball. The best behaved kid in the world, <laughs> Greg Northwood. I love it. Oh. What was your dad doing with a crowbar? That's the crowbar. Then. <laughs> they definitely did not steal from, uh, from Grant. Tim, my dad almost found the bottle, so you need to take it back. We will be going to the pictures at four, so wait until then and come to the house. Spare key under the plant pot, go up to my room, open the lockbox, the codes 110674, take the crowbar, go to the living room. If you stand at the front window and press the planks with your foot, you'll hear the third plank is loose. Use the crowbar to pry it open, but be gentle, otherwise my dad will see the marks from it. I hid the bottle in there, so grab it and put everything else in place, back in place and leave. Next time, let's bury the stuff in the back garden. Well, let's go see what's in those floorboards. Also, plant pot? Alright, it doesn't look like there's one here anymore. Not that we really need a key to get into the house we're already in. Uh, there should be, yep, here. So I guess Dad used this key to sneak into Granddad's room. <laughs> uh, yeah. Dear Greg, whilst your dad does not approve, I cannot bear to be away from you for so long. How I wish we could just be told why your dad hates us being together, rather than him just saying we are too young. Which is completely untrue. In only a few months, you'll be leaving high school. <laughs> And in less than a year, I will follow. And I know we can be happy together. So until we can convince your dad to let us be together, we shall just have to write in secret. Your love, Lindsay Millward. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, the ripe old ages of 18 and 17. Okay. Notice to Wilfred Northwood, I'm done playing games with you. you. You think you could ever win with what I know. I'm coming to your house and I'm taking back that crowbar you are good for nothing son stole. Your former boss if you mess up again, Grant Tatton. Second of November. 1976, it cost 250 pounds, but Guillermo sold me a gun. I know I probably won't need it, but I still feel safe for having one. He told me that guns are one of the easier things that he smuggles. He says guns don't complain or ask for food. Okay, so Guillermo was into... smuggling people. And the game not so subtly implied that... Grant's company, or Grant himself, employed some people who'd been smuggled into the country, so yeah. Okay, an old lantern. I remember Granddad telling me he got this as a prize from some people who called themselves Sensuke. Weird name. <laughs> uh, fun. Notice to Wilfred Northwood. I don't like you, but you kept your mouth shut and you did, and did good construction worth. work. So I say we are good here, but I don't want to see you again. I don't want to see you again, but have a good life. Your former boss, Grant Tatton. What did Grandpa do? Dear Wilfred, you think you're untouchable because you have a family now, but you're wrong. I expect to be paid for my services like we agreed. Oh boy. 15th July, 1997. I can't forgive myself for what I have done, even if it was to keep my family safe. I don't deserve to know them. I put the letter in the music box, and I will bury the key as well. Even though it will just be in the back garden underneath the birdhouse, 
I know in my heart I would never have the stomach to retrieve it. Son, I know you are reading this now. I hope with time you were able to forgive me, even though I never could tell, I, tell you why I did what I did. I am probably dead at this point, so I ask you but for one thing. Throw the music box into the fire. Oh boy, what... What did you do? I mean, I'm pretty sure you killed somebody. Possibly several people, but... What did you do? Okay, it doesn't look like I can a actually throw the music box in the fire. So let's go find that birdhouse. There's the birdhouse. And there's the ground. And there was somebody buried in the backyard. All right. I kind of expected that, but actually seeing it is uh, something else entirely. So is that Grant or Guillermo? Walter, my love, though our time together was short, they were still happy days for me. Together, we have three beautiful children who will grow up without their father. They will grow up happy and well thanks to your sacrifice. I hope one day we shall be reunited and our children get to know their father. Until then, keep my music box close by and let its song remind you of me. Your love, Jane of Viteri. That explains it. Uh, yeah. The age of 16, the age of 15. Oh boy. And we have a choice, of course, to either read or burn the in information. Yeah, so... Wilfred had an illegitimate family in Venezuela. Guillermo was either protecting or providing for them. I need to see this one through. I... I feel like I missed something there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, first let me say that, yes, this was a really well done game, especially for the fact that it was done in, like, not even five days. But it felt like they were setting us up to go up into the attic. And that's such a weird place to end... ...to end the story. Okay, so I'm going to... I'm going to assume... Just based on what I saw there, I'm going to assume that Wilfred hired a PI to track down Jaina's kids... ...after she died in a gas explosion... And after she died, he went ahead and, and killed Guillermo because Guillermo was continuing to blackmail him and buried Guillermo in the backyard. That's my guess, anyway. I, again, I feel like there are parts of the story missing. I'm not sure if there was something else I should have done, like if there was a key to the attic that I just didn't find. That would allow me to get up there, and there's some more information up there. But at least for what I played, like I said, this is a pretty good game for a game jam. And I very well may check out the full version of the game when it releases on Steam. 
Anyway, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this look at the third place winner from the Game Jam. Uh, the other two are on their way, so keep an eye out for those. And I will catch you in the next one. Thank you.